Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to walk through our cookbook that we've prepared that uh, goes through how it is you can use the Unsloth integration that we've recently built into FedRag. And essentially that integration allows for the usage of this new class, which is called Unsloth Fast Model Generator. And really what that means is you can bring now any Unsloth Fast Model as your generator within your RAG system build. And by doing so, you get to leverage all the fast accelerators and patches that Unsloth has now, uh, sorry, has built to make uh, fine tuning LLMs much faster. So the first things first, you got to install the dependencies. I actually won't go through that step because we've already got that installed into my kernel and I don't need to, to bother you uh, for watching that part. So we'll just import Unsloth here. And then once that finishes, we will import our new class. Again, Unsloth Fast Model Generator. This will allow us to make use of the accelerators and patches. Again, that Unsloth team has done an incredible job in terms of building up. Uh, we were seeing, I think they were reporting up to you know 2x, if not more, uh, increase in uh, speed in terms of fine tuning LLMs. So really great. I'm going to bring in this generation config. I think in Unsloth, you can actually pass these in as like direct parameters when you instantiate the model. Um, I don't think it, in our integration, we are able to still do that within this generation config. So I'm just going to continue doing that because that's the standard interface that we provided within the hugging face uh, model generators as well. And these parameters are coming from that, no, uh, that cookbook that I mentioned that uh, Unsloth made uh, available. So. I'm just essentially using the same stuff that they've specified. And so the model that we're gonna use is Gemma 3, 4 billion parameter. And you can see that the model type here after this loads up is a bfloat 16. We can give it a spin. So uh, for, for us in FedRag, the way to do that is you Generator dot generate. You give the query and some context. In this case, it's empty. We can print the response, and we will see it soon. Oh. Just a message to restart my computer, and I will do that at some point after this video. Um, okay, and in that cookbook, also they mentioned that uh, we they could make use of the transformers text streamer. For us, since essentially we're just wrapping on top of uh, Unsloth and Hugging Face here, uh, we can still do that. And just to demonstrate that that is the case, let's stream what is a Porsche. All right, so now let's move on to building the rest of our RAG system. So we've built our generator using Unsloth uh, integration. Let's build the RAG system and then walk through how it is you can fine tune. And that's a typical workflow that we've presented in our past videos of how to fine tune a RAG system. It's just this time we're gonna make use of Unsloth uh, uh, inherent patches and accelerators. So building our RAG system involves again, taking a knowledge store, defining a retriever, as we've seen in past videos, adding some knowledge to it. And in this case, the knowledge is very, very toyish. I'm only adding these two chunks here We've got two uh, nodes as a result in our knowledge store. We can now assemble our RAG system. And now we're ready to fine tune. So before fine tuning, what I'm gonna do is actually, we're gonna perform QLORA fine tuning. We've got the model loaded up in four bit and we're gonna use some LoRa adapters now. Uh, and again, this follows the cookbook that uh, was provided by Unsloth here. So um, if you want some reference, just go to the original notebook but you could do that here within FedRag as well. And in order to get to the PEFT model, uh, the, the method that we expose is called to PEFT. And so if we hit this, then essentially what will happen is the generator's underlying model will now be a PEFT model rather than a pre-trained model. So if you see this, oh, that's model type, uh, D type, it's B float 16, but you could see here I'm importing PEFT model. I'm confirming that it is indeed now a PEFT model, and that is true. Okay, so now we've converted the model to a PEFT model. We're ready to do some QLORA fine tuning. Uh, again, this follows a similar flow that we presented in past videos on how to fine tune a RAG system within FedRAG. 
This is just a trained data set, again, of just query, query response pairs. And now that we've defined our trained data set, let's make use of our trainer uh, for Ralt, which is a generator retriever, uh, sorry, generator trainer uh, that implements the Ralt methodology, which is essentially bringing in context from the retrieve nodes into the instruction examples for fine tuning. And to make use of that, uh, you define the trainer uh, with the rag system and the train data set. And then you just take your generator trainer and you hit train. And so when you see this, you, you see that we are making use of Unsloth's um, accelerators here uh, with this integration. So it really works nicely and, and seamlessly. And again, this is very toyish, but you see here the result is produced. And uh, there you go. Obviously on more uh, realistic cases, you'll, you'll have a bigger data set and, and more elaborate knowledge store. But this uh, essentially was just to demonstrate how it is that you can set the pipes up. Thanks everyone.